It's November and I've got a sweaty walking and weights workout. Grab your dumbbells and let's go. All right, killer bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. Have your weights completely out of the way and let's get started with some arm circles with high knees. I'm gonna scoot over just a little bit because apparently, apparently the cat's gonna be here. <laughs> she just walked over and I could tell she's totally wanting to fight Blossom for the chair. I'm not gonna help out with this. You guys, welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend and around here we have animals. We also make peace with our menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving in ways that feel like self-love and today, is definitely going to feel like self-love because today is such a great weight loss workout. Today is the kind of day where we're getting it all done in not too long of amount of time, not too much effort, but the exact moderate way that we can get to our goals. You guys, I very specifically made sure to tell you that we were walking and weights today because we're not walking with weights. We have moderate dumbbells today. If you don't have moderate dumbbells, go ahead and go with your lightest or go with nothing. Either way, totally fine with me, but I didn't want you to think that we were going to be doing like cardio toning all day since we literally just did that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. Here's what it looks like. I've got the handy dandy gym boss here set for 40 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. These are pretty generous intervals, so I want you to be thinking about what feels moderate for you because that, my friend, is always moderate. <laughs> Here's what it looks like. Today is completely knee friendly. There is no, I mean, there's always no jumping and no transitions to the ground, but there's also no squats, nor are there any lunges. In fact, today is a really good day to kind of be taking notes about, hey, these are all the exercises that I can do in place of the times when Paula is doing squats or lunges. Also, I've got some super fun music for us today. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes because welcome. Yep, welcome to my home. <laughs> welcome to the never ending battle over the gray chair. Sometimes I even get to sit in it. <laughs> I need, I feel compelled to tell you every time we do this that I am not actually listening to music. You are because I add it on afterwards, but when I am offbeat, because of course I'm going to be offbeat, obviously, I'm going to be offbeat. Not because, not because I'm offbeat. I mean, sometimes I am I'm a little offbeat. <laughs> but mostly because I'm not listening to music at all. So my friends, feel free to enjoy the day. Enjoy yourself. Make sure that you are going at a moderate pace for you, whether that's on beat or off beat <laughs> like me. We're gonna get started with some walking. Here's 10 seconds of rest. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells. Coming up next, we're gonna do a kick and press. And I feel like I forgot to tell you that today is no repeating. So you guys, all we gotta do is one interval of each. We're gonna kick forward while we press up. Core in, this is strength, so we're moving a little bit slower, really thinking about good form. those dumbbells down. Coming up next, we're doing something I call push, push. Give yourself a little bit of space. We're just going to push to the side, push to the side, and then push back the other way. This is cardio again, getting our heart rate up.
Nice job. Go ahead and grab those dumbbells. Here's 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next, we're going to do a front raise, side raise, high knee. So one hand is doing a front raise, one hand is doing a side raise, one knee is coming up at a time. Pull in that core and mind your balance. Go ahead and put those dumbbells down. Going back and forth between the cardio and strength really means that we can feel the difference in our heart rate. Coming up right now is letter K's. Hands up, there's letter K and not. <laughs> Nice job. All right, 10 seconds of rest. Go ahead and grab those dumbbells again. Coming up next, we're gonna do side kick curls. This is a perfect substitute anytime I'm doing curtsy curls. Elbows locked into your waist and here we go. Awesome job, put those dumbbells down, coming back to cardio. Here we go with rainbow jacks. Hands are going overhead like a rainbow, one knee at a time comes up on one side and then the other. Nice job, grab those dumbbells. We've got 10 seconds of rest here. But coming up next, we're coming back to strength. We're gonna do a side step punch out. So weights start right here in the middle. We're gonna step out while we punch forward. Nice job, put those weights back down because of course we're coming back to cardio. Coming up next, we're doing walking stars, otherwise known as pick an apple and put it in your pocket. We're changing leader legs every time. Here we go.
Nice job, 10 seconds of rest here. Coming up next, we're doing letter X's. We're gonna form the top half of the letter X. Grab those dumbbells, feet are about hip width apart, pull in that core. The top half of the letter X, and then the bottom half. Nice job, 10 seconds of rest. Go ahead and put those dumbbells down because of course we're coming back to cardio. We do every other time. Coming up next, we're doing pretzel jacks. Hands are doing jumping jacks. Lower body is forming, not really a pretzel, but kind of. All right, 10 seconds of rest. Go ahead and grab those dumbbells again. Coming up next, we're doing triangles. Feet are almost uncomfortably wide apart. One hand goes up in the air while the other one rolls down the side of your leg, jutting that hip out, using every single muscle in your hip complex to move like this. All right, go ahead and put those dumbbells down. Hi, baby, how are you? Here's 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next, we're doing half jacks. It's literally half of a jumping jack at a time. The right half and the left half. Go ahead, tell your fine blossom. Hey, Bobbers, you're fine. Thank you, don't do that on camera. <laughs> Grab your dumbbells. Coming up next, we're doing deadlifts with a front raise. Feet about hip width apart, back is straight, core is pulled in. Push your hips back, pull your hips forward and up into a front raise. Very good, all right, put those dumbbells down. We've got 10 seconds of rest now before we get going with shooting stars. We're reaching out to one side while kicking out with our opposite leg the other way.
Very good. All right, 10 seconds of rest. Go ahead and grab those dumbbells. Coming up next, we're doing three point crunches. Working on our balance, pulling in our core. Elbows are pointed forward while your dumbbells are right here on your shoulder. And crunch. Very good, put those dumbbells down. Here's 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next, we're doing cheerleader kicks. Hands are gonna start here at your shoulders. Hands are gonna go up and down while we kick out one foot at a time. Ra, ra, sis, boom, ba. <laughs> job. All right. Whew, you guys, <laughs> I am getting nice and sweaty. How about you? Grab those dumbbells. Coming up next, we're doing a side kick press up. Weights here at your shoulders. One side kicks out while one side presses up. good put those dumbbells down we've got 10 seconds of rest while we get ready for can cans it's a knee and a kick on one side and then a knee and a kick on the other and here we go Here's 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next, go ahead and grab those dumbbells. Whew, doggies, we're gonna be in a bent over position. We're gonna do a row with a kick back. Palms facing each other, we're gonna row up to our armpits and then kick it back to our hips. Very nice job, put those dumbbells down. Here's 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next, it's our last pair of cardio and strength. We're doing ding dongs, hands are swinging low while we kick out to that side.
um, 10 seconds of rest. Okay, coming up next. This is not the finisher, but it might as well be. <laughs> we'll grab those dumbbells. We are doing drinky birds. If you need something to hang on to, hang on to it. It's okay. We're pulling up one leg back behind us, keeping our back nice and straight, balancing while we bend or tip forward. Nice job, put those dumbbells down. I've got one final thing for us. We're done, but we're not finished. We're doing a front kick, back kick. We're gonna do one on each side. We're alternating for the whole 40 seconds. So front kick and back kick and then down. Yes, we're doing this the easy way. I know balance work is never easy, my friends. We're doing it the kinder, gentler way to make sure that we're getting just the right amount of balance work to keep us strong and on our feet for years to come, but not so much that we can't do it. My friends, balance is something that I have struggled with all my entire life, frankly. And I've been practicing, 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 and it's still not something I'm amazing at. But because I practice so much, I have full confidence ah, in my ability to get through 40 seconds of it. You guys, what a great job you did. Let's go ahead and turn off the timer. Oh my goodness. And let's cool this down. Some nice big arm circles. Oh my goodness. That was so much Fun, am I right? And it was the exact right amount of work to get us on our way to our weight loss goals. You guys, no one workout any one time is gonna be the thing that makes you lose weight, but being able to do something every single day consistently is how we get every place we want to go. You guys, here on screen, I'm gonna have for you a little bit more of an explanation of that, just in case you're new to this idea of moderation. I know it feels very different. Let's go ahead and open it up. Ah, stretch out that chest and then close it up. Give yourself a great big hug and a pat on your sweaty back. You did such a great, great job today and I'm super duper proud of you. In addition to that informational video that tells you everything you need to know about how to lose weight at 50 and beyond, I've also got an extended cool down here for you if you'd like just a little bit more walking, a little bit more stretching. No matter what you do, my friends, I hope you have a fantastic day. Make sure you subscribe before you go and I'll see you tomorrow.